You can put a wet towel on a Tesla supercharger handle to get faster charging speeds. Hey there, EV enthusiasts. Ready to take a joyride into the world of electric vehicles with EVpedia? Buckle up because we're about to embark on an electrifying journey together. But hold on, before we hit the accelerator, let's make sure you're part of our EV squad. Hit that subscribe button faster than a Tesla off the line. Smash the like button harder than a Cybertruck's exoskeleton and drop a comment below that's juicier than a fully charged battery. Let's turn this channel into the EV hub of the future, one click at a time. The trick is most useful on older V2 supercharger stalls, but it can also come in handy on the newer V3 units. Everybody who knows EVs knows that extreme temperatures and high charging speeds don't usually mix well. But some Tesla owners discovered that they can trick the system on hot, sunny days to get a little extra juice from a supercharger station and save a few minutes during a top-up session. And believe it or not, it really seems to work. With all the doom and gloom news about Tesla cutting deep into its workforce, including sacking the entire team responsible for the supercharger network in the United States, skepticism about the company's ability to maintain the high charging standards is running high. But it's worth remembering that people love those chargers for a reason. And hey, this life hack may make them work even better. The wet towel trick has circulated on Tesla forums and other online communities for a few years now, but with summer coming in hot, we thought it would be a good idea to make this little DIY solution more widely known. As its name suggests, it implies putting a wet piece of cloth over the charging cable handle. This is especially useful during a hot day when the sun shines directly on the handle, making its temperature rise. On older, V2 supercharger stalls that don't have actively cooled cables, the handle can get hot very quickly. As a result, the sensor that's inside the handle tells the charger to lower the charging speed so that a safe temperature can be maintained. But by putting a wet towel over the handle, it's shielded from the sun's light and can stay at a lower temperature, thus facilitating a higher charging rate. One Tesla owner documented that putting a damp cloth over the charging handle convinced the V2 supercharger to up the rate from 60 kilowatts to 95 kilowatts during a hot day. Meanwhile, our friends at Out of Spec Studios experienced an even better result. They plugged in at a 2% state of charge and the supercharger quickly ramped up to 147 kilowatts but then it thermal throttled to just 58 kilowatts when the state of charge reached 34%. Putting a wet rag at room temperature over the cable handle convinced the stall to ramp back up to 119 kilowatts. On the newer, V3 stalls, this trick won't help at all on almost all of Tesla's EVs, except the Cybertruck. The Angular pickup is the company's first passenger vehicle to feature an 800-volt battery setup. The others have a 400V system, but all the supercharger stations that are currently online in the United States aren't capable of dispensing at 800V. As a result, the electric pickup splits the battery pack into two 400V subunits, making the superchargers ramp up the electrical current rate to over 700 amps. This can make even the actively cooled V3 handle get hot, which is why the wet towel trick only works for Cyberruck owners who go to V3 stalls to top up their batteries. That said, prolific EV driver Brandon Flash said on X that he noticed a slight improvement in the charging curve while using the DIY trick on a Tesla Model S that was hooked up to a V3 DC fast charger, so it might come in handy for other Tesla owners, too. It's worth noting, however, that whatever the supercharger version, this slightly unorthodox solution will only do so much to improve the charging experience. The charging rate will still taper when the state of charge gets closer to 100%, so it's no magic bullet. As for the safety concerns that some owners threw into the online discussions that popped up over the years, it shouldn't be too big of a problem. For starters, Tesla's superchargers are more than capable of working safely when it rains, so a damp cloth shouldn't do any harm. Then, the cars themselves can monitor the temperature of the charging pins, so even if the charging cable handle is tricked into believing it's cooler outside than it actually is, the car will still instruct the dispenser to slow down the flow of current to keep everything safe. So, what do you think? Have you tried this out yourself? Do you know other neat little tricks that others should know about? Let us know in the comments below. Well. Fellow EV aficionados, that's a wrap for today's electrifying adventure. Thanks for joining us on this ride. But hey, the fun doesn't stop here. Keep those likes, subscribes, and comments coming in like a convoy of electric cars on a mission. Together, we'll charge ahead into a brighter, cleaner future. Until next time, keep those wheels turning and those electrons flowing. Stay charged, my friends.